Hey guys, this is Doom Master 1994 here, here to review a game that is a very good game for the PSP. Now, I reviewed and I showed you about Liberty City stories for the PSP, and now I'm going to be showing you Vice City stories for the PSP. Now, personally, I still think San Andreas is the best Grand Theft Auto game so far, but Vice City Stories is very fun. Um, it's got a lot of cool features. Um, it's a really fun game to play, so let's review. Um, just gonna Okay, so now let me do something before we start the review. I need a. Oh, that's good. So you first start out downtown, um, and then you work your way to, you know, the first island. So yes, I got killed. Um, so you know how whenever you use cheats on the Grand Theft Auto games and then it says one or more cheats have been activated you shouldn't save they don't even have that message on here so um to the armor cheat here there's a large variety of cars to choose from and remember the cars you know how some cars like um the perennial, how they always went slow. Um, well, in here they go really fast. So, oh shit. Now, the mall is kind of different, like you don't see the gap there, okay I know it's the gash, but you get my point, right? I ran her over. Oh shit. So, this game's uh, pretty fun, I like it. So, um, let me turn the volume down here for a minute. Now, let's talk about the storyline. You play as Lance Vance's brother, Victor Vance, or Vic Vance, one, either one is fine. Um, now, um, now, yeah, you build your empire, that's why it wanted me to attack that car, and yeah, see over there you get a, there's an amusement park, I'll show you that place, and right now now there you go you can jump you can jump out of cars you, it's basically vice city all over again except there's a, you know just with new missions and cars and a few other things like that scooter called the foggio or whatever now it's you know a ventoso which is another one i think they still have the foggios on here right not sure i i don't know and they call the Ferris wheel on here the Chunder wheel. Um, here we go. I'll show you in. Now the cost to get in is free. You don't have to pay. But then again, that was kind of obvious, huh? especially if the um, you know, especially if it's under construction right now. So yeah, you can get on the Ferris wheel. It's now th and then they have bumper cars, but they're not built yet. So it's really useless to go in there. Now beating up people is actually a blast. Oh sh! Hey, I should have killed him. Okay, that was weird, but all right, no. No, you piece of crap. No, never mind. 
there's the police. Oh shit. Yes, your business says go under attack, and there's the cherry popper ice cream truck. Then there's an arcade, but it's not finished, so you can't play any games on there. Woo. There's also some, they have the returning um, radio stations and voices and stuff. Like on BCPR, they have Maurice Chavez, Jonathan Freeloader, and Michelle Montanius. All those guys. Yeah, and now there's police bikes, just like in San Andreas, called Winter Greens. Um, there's Ken Rosenberg's office. Shit. Shit. Ah. Yeah, my. Well, looks like the gangs are gonna take over my company and we'll see where it is. Shit. Oh, you piece of crap. Shit. So this is a very fun game to play. Um, now you have a lot of, you know, now, Victor doesn't want to become a thug, you know, because he hates drugs, although he does state that he's far from being good. So, I have a bank job outfit. Um, now, since we have enough time, let's take over a business. Let me tell you how that works. Now I'm, just, I'm gonna have to do some cheats because I don't have any weapons. You get these remote grenades. So you have to destroy the vehicle outside of the building, and now what you have to do is kill the remaining gang members. Sorry, I had to do cheat there. Okay, now you enter the business premises after you've killed the guards. Now, what you need to do is get a bat or any weapon, really and then destroy the rest of the stuff. Destroy everything in your sight. And now that I've unlocked all the businesses that you can do, I'll show them to you. Attack pass. Okay, I know it's kind of hard to see right now, but I'll... Yeah, here we go. So yeah, you press the up button after you do all that shit to buy the building. Now here's what you can do. You have the choice of getting a protection racket, loan shark, prostitution, drugs, smuggling, and robberies. Well, you can choose any of them. And to unlock them, you have to find, like, a business that the enemies have that has that job, you know, go to the map and and I'll get high roller since I have enough for that so this is a very fun game and I'm going to give this game four out of five stars why not five you ask well there are a few bad things like if you're going too fast like the frame rate is like will get really bad so this is a very good game to play, and if you're deciding whether you should get Vice City or Liberty City Stories instead, no, get this one instead.
Well, I'm signing out.